my name is Alan, and today I'm going to be doing another 20 minutes in chapter. This is chapter 29. In chapter 29, what happens is, so they get to the edge of the mountain, and they see that there's this um, river of fire, right? And Dr. Dever, I mean, Pondian goes, well, the monks were right. There is a river of fire. And doc, and then, so doc, so and then Pondian goes, well, I think that this uh, might be formed by some lava or something, right? And so they go down with a bunch of ropes and stuff, and they start walking towards the river. And Dr. Dibberker goes, well, this isn't some kind, this isn't lava or anything. Like, look at that um snow. It's not even, it hasn't even melted near um that uh near the lava as you call it and they go there and Dr. Dover goes this is actually a red diamond a very very rare type of diamond and Pondian goes a diamond how did this get here and Dr. Dover goes well according to the map this is the place where Laurasia and India you know kind of collided and due to that pressure there probably was like a forest here that was smushed in and it probably created this diamond out of some coal or something and after that, so Pondian goes to, um, if we, if everyone in the world knew about this, wouldn't we all be, like, billionaires and millionaires? And Dr. Erica goes, well, um, almost the complete opposite of that. Well, if everyone knew about this, the price of diamonds would go down, and, like, dramatically, and we would be, like, building, we, we would be, like, building houses with them, like, diamond windows and stuff. And Pondian goes... Oh, yeah, and so they start walking on it, and so so they're walking on it, and it feels like they're walking on fire because like it's all red and it's on their um skin and stuff, and they're there and they walk and Pondian's thinking, um, so everything's just fire. It's just it's inside of him. It. Fire just light and temperature, and when it I mean heat, light and heat, and when it comes out. It's fire. And so they walk and they get to the edge of another mountain. And then they see something beautiful. So there's, so on the four corners there's uh, mountains and in the middle there's a forest. And Pondian's like, how did that forest get here? And Dr. Nerfica goes, well, use your binoculars to look closely. And he looks and he finds out that there's light pouring down onto the place where that forest was. And Pondian goes, how did that forest, I mean, how did that light get there? And Dr. Dibberger goes, well, um, look closely. You can see that it's almost like a, like a, um, satellite dish. So it reflects all the light into the middle. And Pondian goes, oh yeah. And <laughs> yes, look at this, a forest in the middle of the Himalayan mountains. And that was also the end of chapter 29. I hope you liked it. We'll meet back tomorrow. Bye.